Hey Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what is blocking you from achieving success in your life right now. Today is the 27th of July, 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 6.28 p.m. Virgo, I'm giving away a free personal reading once a week for a lucky winner. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love Virgo. If you have commented before, you can do it again. It will increase your chance in winning. And winners will be announced on the community page weekly. All right, Virgo, let's find out. Uh, spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. What is blocking Virgo from achieving success right now? Virgo, success for each and every one of you may mean differently. So just take what resonates with you and apply accordingly. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Subscribe and hit like if you want to watch more of your updates. As I update them very, very frequently. Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Now, Two of Cups in one first. Bad company. Okay, for some of you, it could be literal or metaphorically. Um, two of Cups in one first. You, for some of you, there will be a lot of details in this reading. So for each and every one of you, you know, it's different. But the first one that I'm seeing here could be your friends. Um, people you connect yourself with. But Two of Cups could also be you. Some of you could be disconnect, disconnected from yourself, who you truly are as a person. Um, that's something that you need to find. Some of you, you may not have found yourself yet. And this is a process. Don't feel bad if you... There are people who know exactly what they want and there are people who don't know. And also there are people who thought that they knew what they wanted and then now they're starting to feel confused. Is this truly what I want? Now, if this is not you yourself, it could be someone you're with or people you surround yourself with. And I always stress this, right? Um, if you choose the wrong partner in your life, a, for example, a romantic partner, I think for me personally, from my past experiences, if I chose the wrong partner, it will make me lose money. Um, it will make me feel stressed. Um, my life would be upside down, a lot of chaos. But this could also be a best friend, you know, somebody you're very close with. Um, some people who, or somebody whom um, discourage you, don't support you. Deep down, they may be jealous of you. Or people who are bad influences, okay? So very important to choose the right people to be on your side to share your life with. Some of you, you've been sharing your life with the wrong company, wrong people. Um, we've got the Ace of Swords in the first two of Pentacles. Some of you, it's just you, just not sure about yourself, right? Two of Pentacles um, and an Ace of Swords in the first lack of clarity. Some of you, it's lack of information or lack of education. If there is something that you want to try, you want to do, for example, I'm just going to give you an example because I'm a YouTuber, right? Um, but I do do, I used to do tarot reading face to face before COVID happened. And that was when I started my YouTube channel. It wasn't like I started my YouTube channel right away and became a tarot reader. No, I was a tarot reader, like a real one before. <laughs> Before I started my YouTube channel, um, after I got all of my practices, I tried and I, I did so many, I gave so many free readings to so many random strangers uh, for free. Oh, I already mentioned it, right, for free because I felt that I needed that practice and I needed to hear feedback. And about a year or so, and then COVID happened. 
So I just thought now I'm ready because I've read for so, so many people, right? But some of you, it's either, either lack of practice or lack of education. Uh, if you want to learn something new, if you want to embark into something new that is not something that you are used to or you have learned before, then you need to start learning. Learn first before you embark on that new journey. And I mean, there are some lucky people out there who would, you know, they just jump on it and then they make it. And But that's like one in a million. But I feel like preparation is important, education is important, information is important, learning or even interning, learning from other people is important and you need to also be sure of yourself. Now the two pentacles is juggling two things at the same time, but also it could be multiple things. Another example would be before I started my YouTube channel, um, of course I did tarot reading on the side, but I was also doing so many other things. So I couldn't really focus on one thing. For some of you, you might have to just choose one thing and focus on it. Um, but because of COVID, I was forced also to, because I can't do the other things anymore. We were all on a lockdown, right? And I had no choice but to just focus on one thing, which was to build my YouTube channel. And this is my third channel. Um, I have other channels as well. Um, but anyways, Ten of Pentacles here. I feel like the universe could be trying to tell you that, whoa, look at this. You know, you are capable in becoming successful, whether it's in love or in your career, just in you, within yourself, feeling much more stable, protected, having the right community, right people on your side. Because the Ten of Pentacles, you see there are multiple people here. This is like a lot of abundance, especially when it comes to money, Virgo. With the star here, if you wish to become somebody very wealthy financially it is not impossible and virgo you are an earth sign and these are earth energy um so it makes me feel like it is not impossible for you to reach to your to reach your fullest potential especially when it comes to money or or your career but the ten of pentacles you can see there's love here too because there's a couple and there's a child two dogs and then this could be the father or the mother or father of mother-in-law whatever the case is this is like family of uh, some of you if you have been wishing to have a family it is not impossible but this is also family support you know some of you what's blocking you could be either lack of family support or being spoon-fed because ten of pentacles could also mean inheritance some of you, you only for those virgos who are already rich or wealthy or it could mean spoiled as well if you've been handed things all your life it's just for a small group of you virgo if you've been handed money all your life or being told um what you want to hear instead of what you don't want to hear um that will block you as well there's good and bad in that um but for some of you it's lack of okay lack of family support lack of um lack of like because the star could indicate something that is unattainable that feeling of like i don't think i can achieve that because it's just like oh that's just i don't know i see people making it but i don't know it's if i could get there if i could get what i want so maybe it's the lack of confidence um lack of sense of self or it could be lack of having the right people in your life um, we need people. We need people, people in our lives. And, you know, the Hermit card hasn't come out um, because I think maybe it's missing in this deck, but it doesn't matter. But I'm seeing the Hermit card right now in my head, okay? The Hermit is a Virgo. So why is Hermit a Virgo? Hermit is so lonely. 
hermit is a lone wolf. Um, although hermit, a hermit is the hermit is also wise, but can also be lost at the same time, depending on you know, depending on the card and the surrounding cards as well. But for some of you, Virgo, what's blocking you is you thinking that you can do everything alone or by yourself. Um, and for some of you, it's you thinking that other people can do those things for you. Okay, again, two different groups of you. Just take what resonates with you. Another thing that could be blocking you is that thinking as though some things are unattainable. If you've been single for a while and you think, why am I single for so long and why can't I find the right partner? Perhaps you need to also heal first. This is like stripping off of all the past. You can use some of it as you know part of lessons because we all learn, we are constantly learning. The only day where we stop learning is when we are six feet under. So we're constantly learning. Take that as a lesson and apply it to your future. Um, it's like starting over. Don't be afraid to start over. Don't be afraid to go after what you want to achieve in your life. But first and foremost, you need support. You need to also educate yourself learn the world is right here the world is your oyster that's what i'm hearing as well and nine of cups in my verse ten of wands in my verse for some of you what's blocking you could be you doing it all by yourself again alone doing everything by yourself carrying all the burden that you don't have to carry nine of cups in my verse it's like this insatiable need to either either to either please people or because the nine cups could be like i have it now but i want more some of you not for all of you some of you it can sabotage what you have right now because you want more and that saying of the grass is actually not greener on the other side. The grass is greener where you water it. This just applies to some of you, okay? But the world could also mean that you need to close a chapter and start a new chapter. That willingness to close a chapter and start a new chapter because you don't know, especially for those of you, if you feel like wherever you're at right now in your life or who you are with right now, they are not good for you, they don't serve your highest good, then perhaps it's time to close that, chap that chapter. Again, Virgo, just take what resonates with you and apply with your better judgment. It's a general reading. If you want a personal reading that is tailor-made just for you and you alone, you can book me. All info is below. Justice. Justice, Seven of Cups. Page of Swords in verse, Page of Cups. I don't know, I keep hearing this, Virgo. This is not for all of you, okay? The grass is not actually greener on the other side. The grass could be greener where you water it. Because the Seven of Cups is like, oh, maybe I have other options. Maybe I have other options, but this card also could mean that not all options are good, right? Page of Swords is constantly learning. Page is young. Be open to learn new things. Be open to learn something before you start. I hope that makes sense. Okay, or heal first before you start something new. Get into, start something new as in, you know, especially for those of you who are prone to rebounding in relationships. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. I always talk about the fish coming out of the cup. Being able to think outside of, a box being able to just ride with a wave and don't allow it to dampen your spirit okay something that i saw today um there is this short on youtube so this uh, man who is like in his 70s or something so there's like a bunch of money on his table he said if somebody took $10 from you, 
would you throw away the rest of this money? And he said, you won't, right? And he said, if somebody spoils your five minutes of your time by being rude to you, for example, will you spend the rest of your 24 hours or longer? Um, will you throw away the other, you know, 24 hours or 20, 23 hours, 55 minutes of your time mulling over what this person has done to you. That's maybe something that perhaps some of you may, um, some of you probably need to know. I don't know, whoever needs to hear it, okay? Got the justice here. Some of you, what could be blocking you could be, it may have something to do with the government or visa permit i don't know this part is just for some of you perhaps doing things the right way doing things the proper way by law especially for those virgos who are prone to doing something that is illegal okay this part is for those of you who who are prone to doing something illegal and for some of you justice could also mean karma um some of you, what's blocking you could be your karma or your ancestors, gener generational karma. That, you know, that sucks, but it's part of how the universe balanced things out. We've got the King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Wands in reverse. It's funny, I see two different groups of you. I see one group of you who are like really good Virgos who do things by the book and i see another group of you virgo who, who who are prone to doing something illegal <laughs> okay so you know where you stand in this reading whether you're the ones who who would do something illegal or the ones if you are the ones who who would do things right by the book maybe it's time to also think with the page of cups think outside of the box or outside of what you've learned maybe then again new things for you to learn new create more creative ways to go about with your life or to getting something done or to meet someone new relationship wise okay but i definitely see right here two cups and members some of you it's really just bad company bad union unions that are not healthy for you because queen of pentacles here is in reverse page of wands in reverse it could be people you surround with or people things that you're exposed to could be social media okay but i definitely see virgo there's a lot of success here if you can jump through a hurdle or hurdles, there could be success here. And I'm hearing with the page of cups and not cups and reverse. If you, some of you, it's you thinking too much of others, doing too much for others. And for some of you, it's you not doing enough for others. Doing good deeds is actually good because you, you will receive good karma and it will manifest in different ways. It could be in your love life or in your finances, in your career. Just last night, I was so tired, right? I did so many readings. I was just about to sleep. Right before I went to sleep, I saw an email, somebody asking me, um, I don't have enough money to do, you know, to book you for an emergency reading. This is how much I have. Can you please help me? Um, so I did try to help, but she's like, oh, but I need it now, now, now. And my energy was spent totally, even if I was to do a reading for her on the spot. I'm afraid that the reading wouldn't even be accurate. I wouldn't even be able to connect. So now... So I just told her that I didn't 
right away reject. I just said, you know, but you have to wait a little bit longer. But I can't, blah, 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 she was explaining. But you have to, for some of you, it could be you, Virgo. When you're all spent, you still go to, you know, you still go, you still try, even though if you don't have anything left of you, you still give. Maybe that could be blocking your success as well. That's just for some of you. But for me, I was just thinking there's no point of me doing a reading for her right now because the reading will not be a good reading because I am too, I was too tired. I was just about to doze, to doze off. Right. But anyways, Virgo, this is your reading. Don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. It's free to subscribe. And I mentioned this before uh, in the last reading that I noticed a lot of these readings for you guys. I'm also a Virgo, by the way. They are like part one, part two, part three. It feels all very connected. So make sure you click on the bell notification button and subscribe so you get all of the updates whenever I post them, which is very frequently. And we all know that also time is always moving. People change, feelings change, situations change, energies keep shifting. So this is the one-stop channel where you get all of your updates energetically or love messages, money, whatever it could be. All right, Virgo. And also I have two other channels, Chelsea Love Tarot and Chelsea Vlogs. These two channels, yeah, go ahead and subscribe to them. My vlogging channel is my fun channel. Okay, check them out. Um, and my main channel, Just Love Tarot, it's, uh, it's a channel where I would normally go live or do collective, uh, do collective readings. Take care anyway, Virgo. I hope to see you back here again soon. Love ya. Bye.